Hey everyone, I'm excited to let you know that we now have a feature that allows you to set up your website subscription mode similar to Netflix, Hulu, and Disney+. So as with Netflix and other streaming platforms, your customers will be able to subscribe to a plan and have access to all of the content on your website. However, the second unique feature to WP Stream is that you can now set up different subscriptions so that customers can pay for one depending on the type of videos they're interested in. To find out more about what I mean, please keep watching. But before you continue, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with our latest content. So as you can see, I first went to plugins and added a new plugin where I installed and activated WP Stream. Once I've done that, you will find it right over here. And also make sure you have the WooCommerce subscriptions installed before continuing. So let's go to WP Stream credentials and either log in or register. Once you have registered, you can head back and enter your details and save your changes. Here you are connected. So let's check out the new features. Go to WP Stream settings and you'll find subscription options right over here and you'll find the use global subscription mode and subscription ID for global subscription mode. So to use this, you will first have to enable it and add a subscription ID. Under customize messages, you can edit any one of these messages and save your changes. So let's just find out where your subscription ID is going to be. Go to products and as you can see, I already set up a few subscriptions but let me show you how to do it. So click on add new and give it a title that is pretty straightforward and easy to understand that it's a subscription for all the products. Under product data, change from simple product to simple subscription and you can give it a price. And decide whether it's a live channel or not. Pick the category and then you can hit publish. Once you've done that, if you go back to your products, you will find it right over here. So if we check out our website, this is how our subscription plans look like and your users can subscribe to each one of them. So let's head back and find our subscription ID. So you will find it right under the title. There's an ID and a number. So copy that number, go back to WP stream settings, subscription options, enable subscription mode and paste 959 and save your changes. Now go to products and we will now want to add a video that we will attach to the all access subscription plan. So click on add new and give it a title. So this video will only be accessible for those who purchase the global subscription plan, which is the all access plan. Change from simple product to either a live channel or a video on demand. Give it a price and pick the video you want. And under attached subscription, you can either leave it as is or click on none. And that is how it's going to become the global subscription. Click on publish. And if we head back to products, we will find the video right over here. So let's just go and check out the websites and how they perform over here. If we click on full access, you will see that you will need to subscribe. And if we go to videos and live, so here's the video that I just created, you will have to add it to your cart because you have not yet purchased the all access subscription plan. So let's just go back to subscriptions and subscribe to all access. You will purchase this plan and once you have purchased it, this is how it should look like. If we click on all access, this is how it will appear. Now, if we go back to videos and lives and click on the video that we created, as you can see, you now have access to it simply because you have purchased the all access subscription plan. And before this, we did not have access to it and we had to purchase it individually. So that is how the global subscription mode basically performs. And now I'll show you the second feature that is also related. So 
For this feature, we will set up different subscription plans and add different videos to each one. So you will go back to WP Stream. And here you will go to subscription options and make sure you delete the subscription ID. You will leave the use global subscription mode enabled as this is what gives your viewers access to certain videos if they purchase particular subscription plans. Save your changes and once again go back to products. So let's say that I want to add a gym video to the fitness subscription right over here. So I created the subscription similar, well, the exact same way I created the all access subscription. So just follow the same steps. But to add a new video, there's one thing that sets it apart. So click on add new, give it a title and under product data change from simple video to video on demand or live channel, give it a price and from attached to subscription, make sure you highlight fitness this time around. Click on publish. And if you go back to products, here is your video. So let's go to our website and check it right over here. So here is the video gym with James. If you click on it, you will have to purchase it in order to view it. But because we have a subscription plan set up, go to subscriptions and subscribe and purchase the fitness subscription. Once you've done that, if you head back to the video gym with James, you now have access and can view the video. So that is basically it. In this video, I showed you how to set up a global subscription as well as how to set up individual subscriptions for different videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon with another video.